Welcome to Virtual STEM Club Pirate Ship. I'm Sandy and today we're going to take some miscellaneous items and build a, hopefully build, a pirate ship that will float in water. You should have already picked up your take and make bag which includes all of the miscellaneous things you see here on the table and that's what we're going to use for our project today. Let's get started. In your bag, you're gonna find a bunch of miscellaneous items. We've got some straws, miscellaneous sizes of craft sticks, some balloons, some foam bowls, a piece of aluminum foil, and some duct tape. You will need a pair of scissors if you need help cutting your duct tape, which I do. Also, you'll need a place to test out your boat, you can either take it to the sink or you can get a pan of water and have it by your work area. The first thing you want to do is try to get in your mind how you're going to make your pirate ship. You can take your individual items and test them to see how well they float before you start building. Or you can just put it together and see what happens once you get it going. That's the beauty of this project. It's all up to your imagination and what you want to use in your project to make your pirate ship. And there is no wrong answer here. However you build it is going to be fabulous. So the first thing I'm going to do, well I already did, I blew up a balloon just to see what I could do with that when I'm building my ship. And then I'm going to take a couple of the craft sticks and I'm going to take smaller ones and put them across like this. Then I'm going to take a piece of duct tape and attach them together. So I'll just take a piece of tape like this and just however it works for you, wrap it around like this, tuck it in however you like to tape your duct tape. So I'm going to do that side with another piece of duct tape. And tape that corner. And I don't know, thinner pieces might work better, but this is just how I'm going to do it today. I'm going to keep my pieces a little bit square. That didn't work out really good, but that's okay. I'm going to take another smaller craft stick and make a square with my craft sticks. And I will cut another piece and tape it up. And again, there's no wrong answer here. It's all in how you want to design your ship how detailed you want to be, or how simple you want to be. And there's enough items here in your take and make bag. You might even be able to construct two ships. So I'm going to take another piece of duct tape and get my last corner secured here. And just kind of wrap the duct tape around however it works best for you. All right, and then I'm going to take a foam bowl. And you could do it this way, you could do it this way, whatever works for you, however you want to try to see if it'll float. So I'm just going to take a couple pieces of duct tape and attach my foam bowl to the craft sticks and I'm going to, for this part of it, I'm going to 
split this duct tape and make it thinner just to see if it works. And tape the side down like this and the side down like this. All right, so now I've got my basic bolt built. But what's a pirate ship without a flag on it? So I am going to take one of my craft sticks and I'm going to take some duct tape and I'm going to take tape this to the top of my bolt. And it might take a couple of small pieces of duct tape to attach that. Um, and you could attach it here, you could attach it to the top of your bowl, whatever works for you, whatever you think looks good. Um, get that attached. Oops. Pull that up. Get that secured. And I'm sure you will do a much tidier job than I do with your crafts. Um, so there we've got the pole. And now we're going to attach, or I'm going to attach my pirate flag to it. So we'll just take that. Attach it. I'm going to see if I can get my pirate ship to float. And again, there's no wrong answer. You build yours, how it comes out for you, and then we'll experiment. All right, so once you've completed your pirate ship using any or all of the materials, the foil, the craft sticks, the balloons, however you choose to do it, the next step is to put it in water and see if it will float. So we've got a little tub of water here and we're just gonna put our pirate ship in there and it floats, yes! And once you've got it floating, Another fun thing you can do is add things to it to see if it will stay afloat and see how much weight you can actually put on it before it starts sinking. So I found a couple of paper clips and those don't seem to be bothering it at all. But I've also found a spoon. Let's see if that will... Uh-oh! So the spoon is too heavy. But you could find other things, small rocks, um, pieces of Lego, whatever, and test your pirate ship out and see how much weight it will take before it starts sinking. I hope you enjoyed creating and testing out your pirate ship. I'd love to see any pictures or video that you have of yourself doing this project. You can share them with us at the email address on the screen. We hope to see you next time with Virtual STEM Club. Bye!